Hello, Gary Hernandez here, and welcome to Kane Self-Defense with Master Gary Hernandez. Today, I want to go over another basic strike, the bayonet strike. Now, the bayonet strike is a very simple strike. It's basically thrusting your cane in a forward motion, holding it with two hands. Now, the simplest way to do this is bringing your cane up and a slight turn of your body so you're a little bit angled, so you can thrust whether you're going to simply move your hands or whether you're going to simply shift forward. It's going to give you a chance to have a good impact on the target areas that you're going to want to hit. And we're going to cover that in just a minute. But a couple of things I want to talk about when you're doing this, and I'll do this um, strike forward as well as at an angle. One of the things you want to do is you're going to lift your cane upward and you're going to turn your body a little bit at an angle and hold on to it with two hands. Notice my horn. I always talk about the horn. The horn turns away from my body. I'll show you from this angle here. I simply, now in this technique, I can step forward and turn. I can step backwards and turn a little bit and be ready. Again, the horn is turning away from my body, this motion here. And the reason again, and you've heard me say this many times before, it's so the horn doesn't catch my pants and get caught up in my pockets or anything that's loose, a loose shirt or a jacket, and I don't get my horn caught up in there and it gets stopped before I have a chance to hit somebody. So it allows me to have that in a free, thrusting motion where I can definitely get to my target. Now, you want to hold that cane. When you hold that, as you bring that up, you want to have your hand in a pretty good spot. I don't really, this is my opinion because some people like to do things a certain way and that's great. But my opinion is I don't want to hold it here that close, you know, and I don't want to have it here. I want to basically from the get-go, I chambered my weapon and I lifted it up and I turned and I put my other hand here. A lot of your canes have grips. Your grips will help you show where you're going to hold. If you don't have grips, you can look at a video I did um, a little while back on Ranger Bands that you can put around or even you can put electrical tape, something or cut them in yourself to where you have grips. But if you don't have grips, you can definitely put your own. So from here again, <clears throat> I turn, I lift, my cane is ready, and I go ahead and thrust forward. Now, <clears throat> you can use either end of your cane. When you're using this end and you have your tip, it's a smaller area, it's more concentrated area, and I'll show you where you can strike with that. You can also, have your cane this way and you can thrust with your um, crook and hit. Again, keeping your crook and horn sideways and you can hit. Now you have more striking area. Now, if I'm striking with the tip and I'm coming in from here, it's more of a solid concentrated area. It's gonna hurt. On the body, I would go for the solarplex. <clears throat> you can go for the stomach. And you can go for the chest, but it's not going to hurt as much here. Solarplex is a good shot, and stomachs also. And again, you can hit either with the tip or with the crook. <clears throat> Bringing that more upward motion, you have the throat and the face. Now, going to the head, the crook works really well because it's more of a wider area for striking that throat are catching that face either in the nose or just below it and to the mouth <clears throat> I wouldn't go again like I said before in other videos I wouldn't try so much for the top of the head because it may hit and skim so <clears throat> that allows you to strike if you miss then you go into a horn pull but that's we'll cover that in another video now if you're going with the tip you got to be a little more accurate so you don't miss. And again, you have less striking area here than you do here. So you may want to think about that and you may want to practice the technique. Now, 
when the person's sideways <clears throat> and their ribs are exposed, again, either side of the cane will cause injury. <clears throat> the head, again, you go into the neck or into the side of the head, preferably around the ear with either the crook or the tip. Again, accuracy is a little bit more pinpoint because you gotta make sure you have a smaller striking area versus here. Say the person's turned backwards and you're trying to get them off somebody, you know, you can go into the kidney areas, you can go into the base of the spine and the lower portion of the neck and head with either. So you're still gonna get a good shot. So, the bayonet strike is a really good technique to do. You're simply here, you're walking on something, you just lift it up and you strike. Again, crook and horn facing away so you don't catch your clothes. Make sure your strikes, body, solar plexus, stomach, upper area, throat, are mid center of the face. So, hopefully, that helps. Practice the strikes. Like I always say, make them yours. That's why I put these videos out there so you can practice them from some more advanced techniques to a lot of the basic techniques. And this is a basic technique, but it's a good technique. So work it, make it yours, and hopefully it helps and keep it in your system. Gary Hernandez, thank you very much, and I will see you guys very soon.